Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. To call the situation in Egypt complicated is an understatement. Now after the fall of Hosni Mubarak, elections were held and the Muslim Brotherhood was the best organized group in the nation and prevailed. The opposition parties were fractured and disorganized and so these, the Muslim Brotherhood and other Islamic parties easily won the presidency and a majority in their uh, parliament. And they moved rapidly to push forward an Islamic agenda. And this angered a lot of Egyptians for two reasons. First, the Brotherhood had very little to do with bringing down Mubarak. The demonstrations were primarily organized and populated by the secular opposition. And second, they found the Islamist agenda oppressive. President Morsi and the Islamists were not interested in advancing Egyptian society. They are interested in creating an Islamic republic. There's a, a saying that uh, Islamists have coined, one man, one vote, once. And see, that's the thing. Elections do not make a country into a democracy. They are a small first step on that road. And the Egyptian people did not risk their lives did not risk everything they had to trade one oppressor for another. And when they saw their revolution being hijacked by the Islamists, they rose up. Now the Egyptian military gave Morsi the chance to continue as president. But in order to do that, he would have had to meet the Egyptian people halfway. And Morsi wasn't about to do that. That would have angered his allies in the uh, Islamist world. And so he stood defiant. And the army <laughs> basically took over. So what's next? Well, there's a possibility that the Brotherhood and, and uh, other Islamists will turn violent. And I suspect there will be some violence, but I don't think they'll risk an all-out conflict with the military and the Egyptian people. They still are very well organized and could regain control in the next election. In order to achieve true democracy, the secular opposition has to end its disorganization and fracturedness. They must unite behind a strong set of candidates. And I doubt that they can pull that off. The Islamists, they have to move towards the middle. They have to move towards a democratic and tolerant agenda. Based on recent performance, I doubt that they can do that. So for the foreseeable future, the Egyptian military will maintain an uneasy peace while the new caretaker government will arrange the next round of elections. The Islamists and the secularists will eye each other warily over an increasingly unbridgeable divide. Thanks for listening.